Welcome to this Debaco University follow-up video from one of our previous student series with Kira looking at rabbit damage. So here we're going to look at rabbit damage on a cannabis plant with a follow-up on how to mitigate and help get these plants to harvest. Now here it's the return of the rabbits. Uh, so while they're nice and small, uh, they were doing quite a large bit of damage. And there was fencing around the entire area, but it had simply had too many points of entry for the small rabbits. So like any good grower, you're going to analyze the situation and develop a method to try to mitigate that. Uh, analyzing the situation, it seemed like there was a concentrated area for this damage, so individual plant protective measures were put in place to help salvage the, salvage the plants. And these plants were of the fairly large size. Luckily, the rabbits hadn't come in earlier, where they can simply just mow down the entire plant. And again, while rabbits are small, they could still damage fully grown cannabis plants. So it kind of had reminiscent themes of the Monty Python uh, rabbit there, where it's able to take down and destroy something. Uh, they're much, much larger than the rabbit itself. So the overall method uh, is very quick, which is kind of key. Uh, it's a simple method, which doesn't take much time, which makes it more likely to be implemented. Simply putting an ArborGuard uh, tree trunk protector, as we can see right here, with a zip tie around the stem at ground level. The reason why they're so cost effective, they only cost about $2.50 to under $2 per guard, and it simply depends on how many you buy as far as the price. For the plants that had damage, a simple stake here, we can see right on the side, and a rope was support was added. Uh, watch out for drip lines, though, under the weed barrier when you're punching that stake in the ground. Always find a way to kind of find one or two, so make sure you repair that if you do, or do uh, move it away at the beginning before you do go through and punch the stake in. This can be put around other plants, too, to prevent the issue from happening as a preventative as well. Now these are, here's going to demonstrate uh, just kind of how they look on the actual plant. Um, they are meant also to keep um, line trimmers uh, from damaging tree trunks. So they are pretty uh, rigid, they are pretty solid, and they can be utilized from year to year. I would just recommend you sterilize them. So let's go out uh, to the field there and let's hear from Kira about our follow-up on our rabbit damage. This is a continuation of our bunny damage video. A few weeks ago, a bunny came through and gnawed on the bottom of our beautiful cannabis plant here and resulted in it actually falling down. And so our response to this was to put a collar on the bottom of our plant to make sure that the bunnies can't come through and start gnawing on this again. It's at perfect bunny level. And another thing that we did was add supports. Since this was, like I said, trampled to the ground pretty much, we, it needed extra support to be able to keep itself upright. If we didn't add these stakes, then it would still be on the ground. Now, when this plant fell, this branch specifically endured a lot of damage. I mean, it's pretty much almost completely severed from the plant, other than the connection right here. And so while most people would see this branch almost completely severed and just decide to remove it, sometimes it'll choose to survive with this super, super cropping method. And all of these branches here, as you can see, will actually start facing up towards the sun so that all of the buds can receive proper light. It's called tropism and it causes the plants to look up to the sky towards the light. So even though this plant received extreme amounts of damage and this branch almost completely fell off, you can still see that it is thriving, even though it has been damaged very heavily.